What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we unlocked, or rather, we had unlocked one of the timelines and decided to pursue that, well, aspect. And we found ourselves encountering Quark, much to my surprise. Quark is doing well, supposedly. Uh, he is alive. He is hopefully not, you know, still trying to kill himself. Let's, let's find out. Quark, you're awake. <laughs> Yeah, I just woke up. Hey. Where's everybody else? He seems normal. Aw, Temyoji. Temyoji's entire body shook with emotion as he drew closer to him. He cautiously laid a trembling hand on the boy's shoulder, almost as if he were afraid Quark would disappear in a puff of smoke the moment he was touched. When Quark proved to indeed be corporeal, Temyoji let out a cry and threw his arms around him. What's wrong? Are you okay, Grandpa? It's nothing. Nothing's wrong, I'm... I'm fine. But... Quark gave him a puzzled look. Temyoji didn't even notice. His face was a mixture of happiness and relief. I could see tears twinkling from the wrinkled corners of his eyes. Aww. All traces of his usual gruff stoicism had vanished. I didn't want to interrupt such a happy reunion, but we were running out of time. Still, Temyoji deserved a few minutes. I left them alone. This music is so serene. At last, Temyoji seemed to recover and shifted from an embrace to a protective arm around the shoulder. So, how are you feeling? He seems to be doing a lot better, right? He's not, you know, rampantly violent trying to attack himself. Feeling? Well, okay, I guess. Was I sick or something? No, no, you're not sick. If you feel fine, then you're fine. Not necessarily, but... Huh? I'm sorry. I should never have gotten you involved in all this. That's right, in a different timeline, Temyoji did mention that it was his fault that Quark was even involved in the Notary game in the first place. What are you apologizing for? Sorry. You're doing it again. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> it's a good question, Quark. So, where's everybody else? Sigma's here, but he's just been standing there looking kind of silly. I gave him a nervous smile and explained about the white doors. I got the feeling Temyoji didn't want Quark to know about Radical Six, so I avoided any mention of it. Alice's death was something I also left for later. Okay, that makes sense. That means I'm on a team with you guys, right? Right. So, um, these white doors, when are they going to open? Well, we've got about four minutes until the primary doors open. Ah! That's not good! <laughs> Oh, look at Quark. He's so concerned. We need to hurry, come on. How do we get to the floor B warehouse? It's so funny. Literally, I mean, this is, what, episode 51 of this series? How many of these episodes have we actually heard Quark speak in, right? It's ha it can't be more than, like, five. <laughs> okay, okay, we're going. I guess maybe in at least some meaningful manner. I feel like we haven't had a conversation with Quark in so long. <laughs> Follow me. As a random aside, I've been... <laughs> I started watching Initial D, the anime. I'm not sure if those of you are familiar. But there's so many, like, Euro Beach, like, really hype songs during the races in that anime. And I have those in the back of my head all the time right now. And they just completely clash with what's going on in VLR at the moment. It's not fitting at all, but I can't get rid of them. I don't want to get rid of them, they're, they're really good songs. I don't know if you guys ever feel that way, where it's like the song's stuck in your head, but you're just like jamming out, walking through everyday life with it.
I remember when I was in college, walking to class and everything, I'd always have headphones in. My, and people would ask, like, oh, like, what are you doing? What do you listen to? Blah, blah, blah. And I would always just say, you know, li life's better with background music. <laughs> Granted, there are times where quiet is appreciated and, uh, and appropriate and arguably better than, than music, but, but music always adds to the atmosphere, in my opinion. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. You're late! Where the heck have you been? Quark? Quark? You're awake! And fully recovered, apparently. I am also relieved to see you well again. Me too. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? I looked out at the others from behind Quark and held a warning finger up to my lips. There were a few momentarily raised eyebrows and some nervous coughing as everyone suddenly fell silent. Huh? From Quark's perspective, it must have seemed especially odd. Uh, um, anyway, there isn't any time left. We need to hurry. But there are three doors. Which team goes in which door? All the doors are identical for this round. I believe it doesn't matter which team uses which door. Then we're taking the one in the middle. Why that one? You want a kill shot? You aim for the center. <laughs> You're more likely to just miss the extremities. That logic is flawed and more than slightly disturbing. Unfortunately, I don't really have a counter-argument, so center door it is. I suppose we could go with the one on the left. Is that okay? I mean, we could go with the other one if you want. Kay and Clover only nodded. Well, there's only one left. The door on the right. Any objections? Alright, let's move. 30 seconds, wow. 30 seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Better get a move on. Hurry up, Fi. This thing's gonna close. I know. I'm surprised Quark hasn't commented on the fact that Alice is missing. It's time we were going as well. Right. Sure. Poor Clover. Come on, guys. There's no time to waste. Right behind you. Let's go. All right. Made it through the doors, and now it's time to see which room we're actually going to be escaping from this time around. And, of course, what we're going to learn from whatever it holds. The director's office. Oh, we had come here before in a different timeline to try to unlock the computer, hadn't we? What is that? It looks like something you'd find in, like, Microsoft Word, like one of those, like, autofill shapes. What's this place? Or it's, um... What is it, like, the, the pink egg from Stop and Swap? <laughs> Probably the office of whoever it is that's running this place. It said director's office on the door. So this might be Zero Senior's office. Maybe. Or maybe not. Well, which is it? Why the heck would I know? We should look around. It's the director of whatever this facility is. Oops. Tripping on my own chair. <laughs> uh, but it could just be like director of research, for example. If this really is Zero Senior's room, there might be some clues. Yeah, you got a point. Let's get started then. Interesting. So we might 
in the process of escaping from this room, find the password for the computer that we can use in another timeline in that dire situation. Interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how this progresses. But alright, here we are. Let's take a look at this right off the bat. What's this? I checked it out earlier, but I think it's just a business card holder. A business card holder? Yeah, it's a file where you put business cards. They've all got these weird shapes on the back. I think maybe if you line them up in a particular way, then you'll get some sort of hint. Huh. Hmm, well, I guess we can give it a shot. We have to place these business cards in a particular order. I thought he said that they have a different, um, oh, they have shapes on the back. Huh. I mean, are they really gonna make me go back and forth like this? Oh, I wish you could just like click on them and it would, they would flip over and like right click to swap or, or left click to flip them over or something like that would be so much more convenient. Hmm, I don't get it. Maybe you don't have enough information. Yeah, almost certainly. Okay. Well, well, what do we have here? Haven't seen a computer this old in a while. There's something on the screen. Is that a line eating a hamburger? I really don't think so. I think the line's got two heads. Looks like a monster from Greek myth or something. It looks like it's asking for an ID and password underneath the lion. Huh. The keyboard doesn't seem to be working, though. I guess we can't enter anything, then. Hmm. Interesting. It was working by the time that we had gotten through before. A desk with a drawer in it. There's an old-fashioned looking computer on it, along with a binder. Okay, tried clicking on the drawer to no avail. Same with the, the monitor on the side. What about this box on the side? Nope. Okay. What's this over here? What is this? One of the training machines you see on late night infomercials? What? I think it's a facial recognition device. A what? You put your hands on either side and hold your face in front of the lens. Then it checks your face against whatever it's got in its database. Facial recognition technology is super cool. It's one of the things I'm actually looking into to, to help out with the research I'm currently most interested in. And it's just so complex and it's been neat to see how it's evolved over the past, you know, 15, 20 years. Oh, huh. How did you know that? I'm in the salvage business. Salvage business? Every so often one of these babies shows up. It doesn't look like it's turned on. Yeah, nothing happens when I put my face in front of it. There's something to the right of the lens over there that looks an awful lot like a keyhole. If we had a key for it, you think maybe we could turn it on? I assume so. Yeah, that would that would make sense. Let's investigate. Is this a balloon? A balloon. You want it, Quark? I don't need a balloon. I'm not a kid. Really? How old are you? I'm 20? Quark is 20? What? What? No way. Gotcha. <laughs> he definitely got me. A large wooden credenza. Okay, can we look at the globe? Is there anything notable about the globe? At first glance, no, not particularly. Hey, a globe. Doesn't it look kind of weird? I think somebody glued a piece of paper to it. Let's see if we can get it off then. You found a world map. Huh. That's, uh, definitely a surprise. World map. I wonder... I mean, obviously they're different colored dots. We haven't really found anything related to that yet, I don't think. There's the safe, as usual. Can we look inside here? We can. And the question is, what are we going to find? Haha, -ha, now this is Brandy! Fier Perrin's 200-year-old reserve. I have no idea what this is. You can tell that just by looking at it, I can smell it. That's some nose you've got there. Here, just let me have a taste. I don't think so. I'm going to be so cruel. Expensive brandy, okay? It has H-O written on top. I think that's about it. Oh ho, this is the good stuff right here. You already told me that. Oh, did I? Yeah, 200 years is pretty impressive though. Yes, yes it is. Then again, it's even older than that by now. Maybe it's gone bad. It's probably just like water now. I should drink- no! Quark is clearly familiar with uh, what happens when Temyoji drinks. There's a screen built into the credenza. There's something on it. Starting up. Please wait. What is starting? Beats me. Well, my money says that just means it won't do squat if you mess with it right now. How about you go have a look at something else? Okay, can we look at the other side? We should be able to, right? Yes, and what is this? 
Huh. Well, putting the expensive brandy on the coaster didn't seem to do anything. The laser beam just went right through it. Hey, what the heck do you think you're doing? If you keep frying it with that laser, you're gonna ruin the brandy. Pull it out of there right now. Do we like heat it up or something? Part of the bottle has red paint on it. Well, we don't really have anything else to put in there. I thought that was actually just gonna be like a plate that we could, you know, take out. I don't really know what the laser is good for at the moment. Can we take the balloon? No, we can't, okay. How about our friend here? A suit of armor. Well, it's not really a full suit of armor, is it? I mean, it's missing the helmet. So what would we call it? I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a suit of armor, okay? <laughs> I agree with you here. Sigma, suit yourself. Anyway, it's got some red paint on the neck and shoulder area. Are you sure it's paint? It could be blood. Hey, don't say stuff like that. Being in a room with a headless suit of armor is creepy enough. Yeah, so clearly we're gonna have to line stuff up so that we can get a good, you know, perspective on where all this, all the red paint ends up. What it ends up spelling. What's this? Is it one of those vacuuming robots you see on TV? A Roomba. Whenever I think of Roombas, there's an old skit involving Batman, and he's like getting gassed by the, the Scarecrow, and it's like going through all of his fears, and he's just like deathly afraid of Roombas. It's hilarious. You got me. Looks like a machine of some sort. Well, is it turned on? Don't think so. Okay. Let's see if... Nope, no luck. Huh. Nothing. Might as well give up. Yeah. Let's go look at something else. We can always come back to it later. Right. We're getting a lot of that so far. Alright, here's another drink. Huh. This is cheap brandy. Alcohol this bad shouldn't even exist. So I think it's best if I dispose of it safely with my... I'll be taking that. Rumble. <laughs> so here's the cheap brandy. It's got that star on it. Is there anything of note? Zero Senior must be a real tightwad if he's stocking this cheap stuff. Might as well be water. Is it really that bad? Well, I'll admit I can't be sure. It's hard to really judge brandy until you taste it. So, no. What else do we have in here? So this red paint, bookshelf, there's some paint inside it. There's this tablet. What can we do with the tablet? It looks like it requires a battery of some sort in the back. And then there's another plate. That coaster's green. It looks like there used to be a bottle on it. Do we want to switch? We probably should. I tried putting the good brandy on the coaster, but... But... But what? I'm pretty sure that's uh, necessary in terms of spelling something out. Can we go to the bottom shelves? We can. Literary analyses. O okay. This looks like a collection of literary analyses. Do you think it has any hints to help us get out of here? If it does, we're screwed. I think we'd starve to death before we got through all four of those tomes. It just has one, two, three, four on the bottom. I mean, it's probably what we reveal behind it. Historical Adventure Saga, one, two, three. Anything else noteworthy on it? I don't think so. A historical Adventure Saga. There are three volumes. Okay. And then philosophy books, one, two, three. Again, nothing visually striking. I think these are philosophy books. This stuff in here is pretty sophisticated. I'm amazed you could get that far. I flipped the first one open and my brain just said, screw this, I'm out. Okay. Huh. Interesting, in terms of the red paint. Can I open this, like, drawer thing on the side? No, I don't think so. What do we have going on over here? Man, this safe is really big. There's gotta be like a hundred billion dollars in there. <laughs> you're such a kid. Maybe they're just hiding something you really don't want people to see. Like some videos. What is up with Temyoji and these videos and his alcohol and it's always when Quark is around? I'm not sure I like the way you said that. Let's just open it up and find out. Oh, I don't think... See? Is it locked? Yeah. There's a circular input panel on top of the handle. It looks like the one on the pressure exchange chamber's door. So we just do the same thing we did then. Ah, nice. Alright, so let's see here. Alright, let's do it. And, of course, that world map is going to tell us what we need to know, right? So we're going to try to connect white and light blue, green and uh, pink, and then purple and yellow. So let's see here. Immediately, I feel like purple and yellow are flexible. Right? Because I can either go around this way, like this, but then I cut off light blue completely. So I can't actually do that. Oh, interesting. 
Yeah, purple and yellow is actually going to be one of the more interesting ones here. Because I can't cut off... I have to go through this. Because I can't cut off the, the pink... Huh. And the blue. But I'm pretty sure the pink is connected to green, isn't it? Yeah, so that's going to be a, a problem. So what's the best way to go about it, then? How many different ways can I connect to pink and green? Quite a few. It's just a matter of... What was it again? Purple and... Or... Yeah. Uh, light blue and white. There's quite a bit of flexibility with that, actually. You know, like, the obvious one is here. <clears throat> but then to get purple and yellow... Actually, I could do that relatively comfortably by going around like this. And then for this, we can just do... Oh, I accidentally right-clicked! <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, it was for pink and green, we were just going to do this. And then for yellow and purple... Um, I don't remember exactly what we were going to do. I think we went through like this. And then, for, yeah, here we go. Being extra careful not to right-click there. Good job! You did it! Hmm, nice work. Very impressive. Let's have a look inside. A hundred billion dollars! Videos! Yeah, yeah. Huh. Definitely not what I expected. Sorry, guys. Looks like all we've got is a binder and a deer. So, a bind deer. <laughs> what the heck is this? Is Zero just making fun of us? Okay, so we can clearly take this. The deer's looking at me, Grandpa. Buck up, it's just a fake. So, there's the mounted deer. The, the real deal is going to be, where do we actually mount it? Alright, so there's a binder in the safe. It's got two pieces of paper in it. You found a page... You have found page one of the business card instructions. You can view it in the archive. Oh, so we have two pages of business card instructions. Okay. Oh, interesting. So, okay, it's going to be another one of those puzzles. Um, but it seems like we now have the instructions to do that, so we might as well go ahead and do that before we worry about the red lettering throughout the room. And with that, we've also explored each little area. So the first one, let's see here. Bob, and then Chris, John, Tony, Ian, and Michael. Bob is up here, and then, let's see, where is Chris? And then it was John, and then, was it Ian? Tony, Ian, Michael. Cool. Alright, so just to be sure, Bob, Chris, John, Tony, Ian, Michael. Bob, Chris, John, Tony, Ian, Michael. Cool. And now we look at the second page. Carol likes being on the left. Okay, so Carol is in one of these two spots. I can erase this for now. I can just put, I don't know, we'll put, are there any C's left? No. Okay, so Carol and Carol there. I don't know if this is a good way of making notes about it, but we'll see. Anne prefers to be near Bob. Okay, where's Bob again? So Anne is going to be in one of these. And we only have one of, one that starts with the letter A, so we can do that. Lovely. And then Ellen would like to be above Anne. Ellen would like to be above Anne. Oops. So that means Ellen would like to be above Anne. Well, that means Anne can't be up here on the top, right? So that can't be Anne, which means Anne must be here. Which means Ellen must be one of these two. And then in the meantime, let's lock in Anne. Wait, no! Ugh. The wrong button. Did they, they rearrange them? Oh my goodness. I think this is it. And then we had Anne here. Okay, Bob, Chris, John, Tony, Ian, Michael. And then Sophie likes to be on the very right. 
Sophie likes to be on the very right. So, what do we have locked in place? Just Ian, John. So we can put Sophie here or Sophie here. And then, what else do we have? Kate likes to be next to Michael. Kate likes to be next to Michael. So Kate can either be here or here. Is that enough information? I guess, yeah. In that um, we can lock in Carol as well, can't we? Can put Carol there. And then... Oops, not that. So if we've locked in Carol, we've locked in Anne, we've locked in Bob, Chris, John, Ian, and Michael. So now we're just down to Ellen, Sophie, and Kate. We haven't heard anything about Lola, so that's probably gonna be the last one kind of by exclusion, right? So where, hmm, if Ellen likes to be above Anne, that still brings those two. Sophie likes to be on the far right, and then Kate likes to be next to Michael. Hmm. I guess K could also be here, right? Because we haven't locked in Sophie. And I think that means... Well, we're starting to get our answer, right? E and K are the only options that can be in their respective spots. So... Actually, we're going to be kind of torn with Kate and, and Lola, aren't we? Let me, let me check just to be safe. Carol likes being on the left and prefers to be near Bob. And pre Carol likes being... Was it Carol that likes to be Bob? Be near Bob? And prefers to be near Bob. Okay, and Carol likes being on the left. Alright, so that does... Oh, I guess Carol could be in the bottom left too, right? That's what I messed up. Ian should be there and Tony should be there, so then Carol needs to be there. I forgot that I had locked in Ian and Tony in the first place. That was my bad, guys. So, Anne needs to be there, Carol needs to be there, that full, that left column is set in place. Now we go back to our memo and say, okay, if Kate wants to be near Michael, this is not an option. It's just where Sophie and Kate currently are. And then Ellen can be in those top two, and then... Sophie can be in those two on the right, and then Lola, we could have be anything at the moment, right? Hmm. I guess Ellen is the only one that can be in that top middle row, right? Because if Sophie likes being on the right... Sophie likes to be on the very right, that wouldn't work. Kate likes to be next to Michael, so that wouldn't work. So I think Ellen is actually the only one that can be where, well, Ellen currently is. So if that's Ellen, then we remove that, and we just have Sophie, Kate, and Lola left. And if Sophie likes being on the far right, Sophie can't be where, well, Sophie is right now. So this is either Kate or Lola. This could be Lola, and I guess this could technically be Lola as well. Is there a way to, to really reduce that? Probably. I feel like th the fact that we don't know anything about Lola complicates things. There are a few different combinations, I think. What does the backside look like? It's gonna say something like, look up. Hmm. I was gonna say, can we use the back to, to guide this? Book. Hmm. 
Hmm. Book four, three, something? I don't know. There's probably something I overlooked, just, just being hasty. Oh, I swapped, I swapped those two. <laughs> when did I swap those two? That's, I think I had, oh, I swapped those right from the beginning, didn't I? That's my bad, guys. I think this is right. Then let's look at the other side. Maybe the shapes look like something now. Okay. Are they going to make me <laughs> click on the back? They are. Okay. What does it say? Book 334. Okay. It says book 334. What does it mean? Well, a book is a bunch of pieces of paper that are bound together with, I know what a book is. The question is, book 334. It just tells us which way to order them, right? So this one has three books, this one has three books, and this one has four books. So let's head back to the bookshelf and see if we can place them in a particular order. So this is the four, we'll place that there. The three, I mean, there are only two combinations with this, right? So we can test them out fairly quickly. Book three, three, four. Wait! I don't think you need to move the books around anymore. Okay, I was gonna say, if it's if it doesn't matter which way they look or which way they're ordered, it just matters that it's three books, which means it's really impacting the the visibility of other parts of the red paint behind it. I don't think you need to move the books around anymore. Remember, the back of the business card said book three three four. So if that meant to arrange the books in order, I got you, I got you, Quark. The question is, it's in H, okay? Now let's think about where we can mount this. The mounted deer. No idea what this thing is, might as well leave it alone for now. Oh, can we put it on the suit of armor? I think we can. A headless suit of armor. I think it's got something in each of his hands. Oh, a short spear. Okay, so he's got a spear instead of a sword. This is a really short spear, though. If you look at the tip head on, it looks kind of like a diamond. A diamond, huh? How? I don't know how that would be useful yet. What do you have in your other hand? Headless suit of armor. Okay, a slingshot. Okay, not sure how that's useful either. Can we put the mounted deer on it? No. Okay. Then the question is... Where do we mount the deer? Oh, you know what? I bet we can pop the balloon. There's a balloon in the middle of the room. Oh, I guess we can't do it with the short spear. Can we combine these two? No? Okay. Then what else is there to do at the moment? Something up there? Wow, it's interesting. I, I mean, this is where we clearly mount the deer head, but this was out of our vision. There's red paint on the wall. It looks like there's an outlet right next to it. Why would somebody put an outlet this high up? Well, it's probably not an electrical outlet. What is it then? I think you're supposed to insert something into it. Like what? Maybe the deer? Yes, that's it. Remember how there are two pegs on the back of the mount? I'll bet they fit perfectly. Give it a try. Okay, that's what I just tried to do. Well, looks like you were right. Okay, so that solves that letter. H-E. Okay, um, now what? Can we put the tablet on? Maybe the machine or something? Maybe? A little computer... Hmm... Now I can- what? I tried to click on the drawer before and it didn't work! Ugh, it's not opening. Is it locked? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't see anything that looks like a keyhole though. Yeah, it looks like a diamond. There's this diamond shaped hole in the middle though. Do you think we're supposed to stick something in there? Yes. That's exactly what we're supposed to do, Quark. Ha! It opened! There's something in here. Is it a key? It is. Pretty small key. The tip is circular. Have you seen anything this key fight might fit into? Yes, we have. I'm trying to remember what exactly, but we definitely saw it. I think it was over here? Whoa! The light on the top turned on. Looks like you managed to turn it on. Okay. 
Alright, it's on. Now what? Well, why don't we give it a face to look at? One of ours? Yeah. Darn. None of our faces work. Face not recognized. Gender mismatch. What does it mean by gender mismatch? Maybe it's saying that it needs a girl? There's only three of us and none of us are women. Well, maybe if we dress Quark up like a girl. No, no way! Why don't you dress up then? No, just thinking about that is making me want to puke. Besides, do you see a wig or makeup or anything around here? How would any of us dress up like a woman anyway? Dude, you totally want to do it. No, I don't. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe... What is it? Did you have an idea? Well, it can't hurt to try. Yeah, definitely worth a shot. How long has he had that in his pocket? It looks like a piece of paper. No, it's a picture. Oh yeah, I remember him looking at that in the infirmary. I guess it's worth a shot. So now we know that it's a picture of a woman, right? Oh, now we have access to... Okay, the helmet. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it's like we're in the villain's secret lair! Huh, didn't think that would happen. I guess the recognition worked. Yeah. But of course we're not gonna get to see who the picture is, do we? are we? So, who is this girl? Hey, stop! She's just a girl. She... kind of looks like Akane. From 999, doesn't she? Or maybe Luna? Is she your granddaughter? No. Well, who is she then? Ugh. Darn it, fine, you've already seen her after all. Her name is Akane. Yes, I called it, Kurashiki. I've been looking for her for... for a long time. <gasps> is Tenyoji Santa? Is Tenyoji Santa? Maybe. Why? Because she's his first love. No! You've got it wrong. But you carry that picture everywhere. I don't think I've ever seen you leave it somewhere. And when you don't think anybody's watching, you talk to it. I've seen you do it. Or is he Junpei? Who is Tenmyoji? How does he know Akane? Huh. Didn't mark you for a hopeless romantic, Tenmyoji. Look, it's not about love, and I'm not a gosh darn romantic. Okay, okay. You don't want to talk about her, I get it. Wow, that has me incredibly curious though. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's head on over to this chair. Look! Oh hey, there's the helmet for the suit of armor. Alright. Nothing too exceptional about it. What about this? There's the lever next to the chair. Why don't you pull it? What's going to happen? Come on, is it really that hard to figure out? You think it's going to go back into the wall? Pull the darn thing and find out. Alright, I guess I should start by sitting in the chair. Then I pull the lever. Okay, so now we see that there's literally a target on the other side of the balloon. Here I go! I'm almost certain the letters are gonna spell out help. Yep, there's the P. There's a P painted on the wall in red paint. This is gonna be the battery. Looks like there's something on the table. Is that a battery? Yep. Naturally, we'll combine it with the tablet. I don't need to be looking at this right now. I can take care of it when I get back to the other room. Okay, anything else of interest in here? Uh, I don't think so. Nope. So, away we go. If I pulled again, the chair should turn back around, right? Ah, whatever. Not like I have a choice. Ha! <laughs> Going for a little ride. Okay. Now... I'm so curious about the slingshot. I mean, we know what the four letters are, right? They're help. Where could we input those, though? I don't know. We have this tablet. Can we place it on this thing? No idea what this thing is. Might as well leave it alone for now. No. Oh, I haven't placed this on the uh, helmet yet. Or on the suit yet. Yes, that suits him. Okay. The paint on the helmet and armor lines up. But I can't really tell what it is from this angle. It looks kind of warped. Okay. Do we have anything we can use the slingshot with? There's a balloon in the middle of the room. Hmm. What happens if we place the cheap brandy here? Look! The laser beam's bending all around inside the bottle. Yeah, it made a parallelogram. Okay. 
<laughs> Why is that relevant? Why is that relevant? Okay. Um, what else is left? We've already been in here. Found everything to find in here, I believe. I mean, we obviously have the slingshot, I just don't know what to sling. We did that. We can't interact with that. We've already done that. I don't see anything more to interact with here. Hmm. I wonder if I can even take the, the brandy bottle back. No, I can't. So that's where it's supposed to be. I don't know why yet, but... And that's where that one is supposed to be. So it's really just the slingshot. Can I sit in the chair? You must be feeling pretty tired, Tamiyoji. All the excitement can't be easy for someone of your age. Why don't you sit down for a bit? Hmm. Not so old I need the likes of you worrying about me. That's so. Well, I think I'll just have a seat then. Ah. Okay, now can I choose to use the, cling the slingshot on it? Huh? What's that? You think maybe it's an eye watching us? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's a target. Like a bullseye? Yeah, you're supposed to shoot it. Shoot it with what? Don't be an idiot, you've already got what you need. Okay, I'll just use the slingshot to... Whoa, hold on there. Do you actually have something to fire? Oh, no, I guess I don't. What are you going to shoot it with then? Well, with mind bullets? It's called telekinesis, Sigma. Anyway, I figured that'd slip your mind, like everything else. Here, I grabbed this off the floor earlier. Take it. Oh, this is the key we use to start the facial recognition device. Thanks, man. I guess I don't have to use my special psychic powers after all. The irony. Here goes. Aiming. Three, two, one, fire. Whoa, nice aim. You got it right in the center. Okay, a bookshelf. The paint on the bottle of brandy matches up with the paint on the back of the wall to make an H. Mounted deer. The paint on the deer and the paint on the wall fit together to make what looks like an E. A suit of armor, complete with helmet. With the helmet on, the paint on the armor and helmet looks like an L. Okay. And with that... Now what? It says it's still starting up. All we have left is this tablet. It looks like you got the tablet to turn on. Look! Something showed up on the screen. Oh, that's right. It said we couldn't use it while we were in that other room, but we can use it now. Enter a four-digit password. Well, we know what that's going to be. You did it! Mmm. Good work, Sigma. Take a look at the screen. Alright, so it's green. This is going to be our escape password. Huh? What's this? Looks like the password for the safe. Awesome! Now we can open it! Okay, so we found the escape password. What's over here? Huh? It changed. That looks like a puzzle. It is. It's a silhouette puzzle called a tangram. Move or rotate the triangles and squares to get the shape you need. Pressing the rotate slash move button will allow you to switch between move and rotate mode. You can rotate a piece by dragging it while in rotation mode. Dragging while in movement will remove the piece in question. Once you've made the shape you want, press the check button. I have no idea what this is. Let's give it a shot. Alright. So we're trying to make a parallelogram here. And, oh, interesting. Yeah, this is, this is fairly interesting. Um, but all we have to do is actually just kind of translocate all of these pieces like this. And we should be okay. Is it because it's not centered? That is a parallelogram. I think I'll just move it over a little bit. I don't know how picky it's going to be. Okay, looks like it's not the uh, the parallelogram it wanted. <laughs> um, maybe it wants it rotated in some manner. I don't know. Um, I guess we can do it like this, maybe. Oh, I wish I could just like switch back and forth between rotate and translate mode. 
with just like right click or left click because having to do that or even a keyboard press would be really uh, convenient um let's see how are they gonna want this they're probably gonna want something like that no I mean I can always just how do they want the parallelogram? Let me let me take a look at the parallelogram. You can do it, but... Alright, let me take a look at the parallelogram they have here. Okay, so it's more of like a horizontal... Where the long side is horizontal as opposed to vertical. So let's aim for that parallelogram. Come on, let me go to the screen. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So right now, how do we want to do that? I'm going to try to keep this sort of architecture intact for now. Um, I mean, all I have to do is essentially rotate the parallelogram I had made before 90 degrees, right? So let's rotate everything 90 degrees clockwise so that was like this and we are now going to make it like this okay and we're gonna rotate this 90 degrees clockwise like that come on okay so that should line up like that I'll put that over here for now and then I'm going to move all these guys over here for the time being. And we're going to rotate all of these 90 degrees. So that'll be like that. This was like that. And will now be like that? I think. Yeah. All right, so then this will be like this. And we'll move that over here. This will be the same whether it's rotated or not. And then this will be rotated like this. Oops. There we go. Wait, no, I just recreated. <laughs> I just did the same thing. Um, how did that happen? I think part of it is that, hmm, I thought that would be fine. But it clearly wasn't. So let's see here. How do I want to do this? I could try to do something like this, where I use these bigger pieces in a more horizontal fashion, and then kind of fill in the rest. No, oh, that's still going to be longer in that direction. This might work. So let's let's move everything over a little bit again. Do something like this and then I can bring this one over here like that. Now the real question is where do I fit this square in? No I, oh, I hit the wrong button. Why does that keep happening? Oh my goodness. Uh, that's that's frustrating. All right, I'm I'm gonna mess around with this for a minute, and then I will I'll just edit to when I'm getting close. 
because I feel like you guys don't want to see me slowly rotate, slowly translate, and so forth. Finally. <laughs> oh man. That uh that took some time. Yeah, that uh that took some time. There were so many times where I was like working on it and accidentally right clicked and then had to start the whole thing over again. I wish No, no, never mind. Oh yeah, who's the man? That was amazing. How'd you do it? That puzzle was really hard. Well done, Sigma. That was pretty impressive. So what do we get? Look, there's something on the screen. I I L P. What does that mean? I I L P. Where did we put in four passcodes again? It was on this tablet, right? I I L P. Okay. Whew. Looks like it worked. Good job. That was awesome. The screen changed. Sun, moon, sun. Hey, it looks different than before. Sims are different and they're in different places. Alright. Let's rock and roll out of here. Safe, just like before. There's gotta be a way to open it. Should we just punch in the password? Why don't you try it and find out? So it's what? Sun, moon, and then sun? Good job! It opened! Hmm, good work. Found ourselves a gold file, lovely. Next up, what do we have? Star, star, star. And we've made it out. Yeah, that, uh, that Tangram puzzle was pretty exhausting. I wish they gave a better idea of what type of parallelogram they wanted in the first place. I think from the image you're supposed to be able to tell that it's like a horizontal parallelogram. Um, and I think that's what you're supposed to go with. But the, the left click and right click and having to rotate and then click and then translate and then click to go back to rotating was really frustrating after a while. I wish, I was thinking about it, I think what would be better would be if when you clicked on like the vertices of one of the shapes, it would rotate if you were to drag, but if you clicked on one of the sides, you would translate. Uh, I think that would be a little bit easier. A little more time consuming, or a little less time consuming, and a lot of less uh, pointless clicks. But, hmm, looks kind of empty this time. There are only two things in here. First, we've got, of course, the AB room key cards. Oh, these must be the star cards they were talking about. There are two of them. You guys take one and I'll take the other. Right. We're a pair, so we only need one for the two of us. And the other thing is, the key, as usual. Yes. Now we can get out of here. Huh. Great. No point in sitting around. Let's go. Interesting that there's nothing else in the safe this time around. Nothing to tell us about the outside world or what's going on. It's a bit surprising. The door lock. It says lock right now. You guys ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Alright. Three, two, one. And we made it. You found it. Alright, so the director's office successfully cleared it. Overall, it was a so-so room. Kind of neat to explore, but um, as far as puzzles go, I didn't really enjoy them incredibly. 
the the name tag one was pretty neat, and I'm sure there was one little gap in there that I was missing. So for those of you that are more familiar with it, those last few steps. Oh, actually no, it was just that Tony and Ian I had <laughs> flipped around in. Is not the case, but um, yeah, it was overall it was, it was pretty fine. Anyways, I'm happy to see that we made it past, and now we have Quark in the party, right? And how is that dynamic going to be different amongst everybody in the Noner game? How is Quark going to react when he finds out that Alice is dead? Or let alone that Radical Six is something that exists and something he's even suffered from, right? Who cured Quark? Presumably, I think one of the commenters had mentioned this in the past, that Kay and Alice went to the laboratory in this timeline, and so they must have gotten the Accelivir and given it to Quark. But we haven't directly addressed that in this timeline yet, have we? So, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how things unfold. But until the next episode, or rather, I'm going to say, we'll do all of that in the next episode. But until that next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.